Hello lovely people. How are you all doing? I hope you're great. Otherwise guys, oh I want to show you something so much in I mean it is I should say it's um wild food. Can I can I say that okay it's some kind of food that we eat when we're in the bush. Guess what? We cook this using sand. I mean sand. And it's going to get real ready. And yes, that is what I want to share with you guys today because you don't want to miss this. Let's go hunt for, I think, some firewood, yeah? And then next we are going to need uh, some pieces of mud. Can I call it mud? I don't even know how to say it. But like soil which is held, which is stuck together, not like in particles, you get. So let's go dig for some. Alright guys, so what we're going to do right now is to set the fire. So right here is my box. Now the size of this hole that you that have dug depends on how many potatoes you're going to cook inside here. So I think I just over dug it. Let me just cover some part a bit because I don't want it so huge. All right. Meanwhile, guys, have you ever seen something that? <laughs> okay, something that looks like what I'm doing. I mean, have you ever done it first of all? If you have ever done it, guys, let me know in the comment section. Do you guys do it the same way as we do? Because honestly speaking, I don't even know the, the English name of this thing. <laughs> I only know it in my local language. So I don't know how to call it and how to tell you what I'm doing. But please just watch this to the end. Then you let me know if you know it or if you guys also do it the same way. Like, you know, just let me also know the English name of it because I think I want to learn from you as well. It takes a lot of mathematics and science to do this, <laughs> to make what I'm making here, because you really have to balance this. It's not easy. It looks like it's simple, but it's not. We're kind of building a house meanwhile, if you're wondering.
when you're putting this, you don't even have to breathe, otherwise you're going to throw everything again. <laughs> so let me cover up. There is a small gap here. Fine, there we go. So the science is you make sure you cover every part so that the heat we are going to generate from down here will not be escaping. Because I want this soil here to really get ready like hot. You get? Because it is this same heat that is going to cook our potatoes. So we make sure we cover every small space that is going to bring out heat. So that the heat only accumulates inside there. So let our grass first burn a little bit before we can add in the pieces of wood here, pieces of firewood. So you be very careful when you're fixing this because you can easily throw down this fireplace here. I told you that when you're putting it, you hold your breath. <laughs> that is how I do. Very carefully. Friends, so guys, let's leave this one burning here as we're going to look for some potatoes. The garden is just here. It's not far. Right, let's go. So guys, right here is my potato garden. So I'm going to start digging. I can maybe start from... Okay, let me just take the first line. Let me just take the first line. So this is how we harvest potatoes you can either use a hoe or even just a stick like this and then you start getting it from the sides so come and have a look at this i just got one already here as you can see this is a potato you can see the way it's connected to that stem so here we already got one So guys, my fireplace is actually hot enough. What I'm going to do right now is to put these potatoes inside there. And then we are going to leave it covered for some time. And then we are going to open this and whoo, you don't want to know what we are going to get out of this thing, guys. Oh my. So ready, let's throw these potatoes inside. So that all the heat it's going to get back to the potatoes down there. ready so we are going to get out the potatoes yeah it's not as hot as it was when we were putting it at least now i can <laughs> yeah but still has some heat and whoa just come and have a look at this just have a look at this already oh i messed it oh first come closer and look at this guys see what I actually broke part of it inside but my intention here is to show you what the inside of this thing looks like I don't know if you're able to see the steam are you seeing it please let me know in the comment section if you just noticed that steam guys whoo the aroma I am feeling right now no words can explain this oh my god okay you know that <laughs> wait you know that, that 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 nice aroma that comes out after the sun is heat I just want water and whoo I'm done with lunch. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> very hot <laughs> but guys oh my god this tastes really 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 perfect guys so this is one of just our numerous village food that we eat we do this in the garden like i told you when we've gone for farm work notice the steam ah that is it guys let me know if you've ever tried this or you've ever eaten potato cooked in the manner that i just did guys otherwise if you have not go ahead and try it if you can guys it is so tasty Ooh, the aroma no words can describe it guys thanks a lot for watching this one go ahead and share the links guys continue subscribing and who for now i'm off because i want to eat my potato so let me just go get some water bye bye <laughs>